In a recent interview, UFC featherweight star Max Holloway expressed his admiration for light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira, declaring him the frontrunner for Fighter of the Year 2024. Holloway believes that Pereira's incredible accomplishments in the octagon this year make him the undeniable choice, even if Holloway himself defeats Ilya Topuria at UFC 308. Alex is definitely the MMA Fighter of the Year for 2024, Holloway stated. The way he took on fights and became the fastest guy to get three title defenses, that's a hard man to beat. I think Alex Pereira's got that one in the bag already. And you do that, and uh, you're going to be in running for Fighter of the Year this year. You and Alex Pereira wins over uh, Gaethje and uh, Ilya Taporia put you right at the top of the heap, I would think. I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know if they do that. <laughs> the way uh, uh, the way Alex took fights, I mean, the, fa he, the fastest guy to defend his title, right? With three title defenses, uh, that's a hard man to beat. I mean, every time uh, I'm in the talks for it, somebody's having a crazy ass year, and uh, I think Alex Pereira got, <laughs> got yeah. the win bag already. UFC welterweight champion Bilal Muhammad is eager to stay busy, inspired by Alex Pereira's frequent fight schedule. Sitting on a couch doesn't get you paid or make me happy. I love to compete, Muhammad said. He's now looking to get back in the cage as soon as December to defend his title and keep the momentum going. I tell people I love to fight. If I'm, It's so hard to stay healthy in this game that if, if I'm healthy, I want to be in the cage. And people are like, oh, we thought you were going to wait a year to to defend and you're going to push it longer because it took you this long to get it. And it's like sitting on a couch doesn't get you paid. Sitting on a couch doesn't, you know, make me happy. I, I want to get happy by competing i love to compete and it's like such a small window in this game where you don't know what tomorrow is going to hold that i'd rather stay busy and i the, the hardest thing for me was that way i wanted to get into the cage i wanted to fight um so yeah i think that for for myself it's obviously the task at hand what's next and and then for 2025 i'm trying to get on that alex P Pereira uh schedule right <laughs> if, if it wasn't for him i'd probably be on that fighter of the year uh ballot uh for for the guys that i've been in the, the the route that i'm taking but uh you know he still exists ufc heavyweight contender tom aspinall has dropped hints of a major announcement coming soon after speaking with the ufc aspinall shared the exciting update with fans but kept the details under wraps can't reveal them right now because it's top secret but there is big news coming soon aspinall said the cryptic tease has sparked speculation now he is training for backup fighter for John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. Any updates? What's going on? How's uh, how's this week looking? Updates in terms of fights and that. Yeah, I'm just training to be the backup fighter right now. I'm getting myself fit. Uh, do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. But I'll be ready for it if it does. And we just spoke to the UFC. We've got some plans in place. Can't reveal them right now because it's top secret. But there is big news coming soon.